What's up, buddy? What's your name? No. Oh, nice to meet you. At a time when their peers were learning to take their first steps or perhaps their first strides on an ice rink, Camden, Jordan, and Noah were learning what no child should have to, how to fight for their lives. I feel good. I'm here with my friends and family, and I can, can, can be happy. It's moments like this when the cancer each of them has beaten is the furthest thing from their minds. It's a relief because it's something that he needs. He needs that time to just unwind and to be the child that he wasn't able to be for so long. What's up, guys? Let's go, boys. Let's go. In January, this trio from Camp Good Days was invited to become honorary Colgate hockey coaches in the inaugural Courage Classic, which pitted the Raiders against longtime rival Cornell. But the experience wasn't one-sided or even one-dimensional. Among the players these survivors met, Spirogolakis, the Colgate captain who just two years ago was forced to step off the ice as he battled Hodgkin's lymphoma. It just makes make you feel like that someone here knows what it's like to go through cancer, besides the kids that are already here. That'll be perfect. Thank you very much. First thing I said to one of my teammates was just like, I, I feel so bad for these kids. Uh, I mean, it was different. I mean, I guess I was kind of an adult when it hit me, so I would expect me to kind of understand uh, what I was going through better than, than they would. Um, and just tried putting myself in their shoes and really kind of felt for them. And just as Spiro never felt sorry for himself, neither did these young optimists. I just really think of the bright side more of the downsides. People kind of think the opposite, they feel bad, but I'm like, I'm here still. A lesson these honorary coaches are passing on to the players and longtime coaches around them. Keeping things in perspective. You know, I mean, certainly we want to win a lot of games, and at the end of the day, that's probably how I will be judged as a coach. But it's really not the most important thing in life. I mean, the most important thing in life is, you know, your family and health. And, um, and to see the kids today, you know, being as vibrant as they were is really, uh, really something special. You got to live like every day is your last. It's like by every day, and that's pretty much the way I go about my life. Live as if the next day wasn't there, I guess. In Hamilton, Kelly Cowan reporting.